The United States is sending hundreds of National Guard troops to the U.S.-Mexico border to combat drug trafficking and illegal migration. The action was prompted by the arrival of a caravan of migrants on the Mexican side of the border. Speaking Monday in California, Sessions warned migrants against trying to enter the country without due immigration process. We're here to send a message to the world that we are not going to let the country be overwhelmed. People are not going to caravan or otherwise stampede our border. We need legality and integrity in our immigration system. The administration has been criticized for what many see as insensitivity to the plight of the migrants camped at the border. Sessions said he has sent additional legal personnel to help speed up the application process for those who seek to enter the United States. I have sent 35 prosecutors to the southwest border and moved 18 immigration judges to the border. Immigration across the southern U.S. border was one of the topics discussed Monday by the top U.S. and Mexican diplomats. Pompeo said the two countries will cooperate in combating illegal trafficking of drugs, weapons, and human beings across the border. He said the United States and Mexico will work together to improve living conditions in Central American countries whose people are fleeing. For example, we are working with our partners in Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador to reduce insecurity and violence, enhance economic opportunity, and fight corruption. Mexico's foreign minister said through an interpreter that his country is no longer a direct origin of immigration into the United States, but also a country that receives migrants. We need to continue to think about priority to the fundamental dignity of migrants, whatever their migratory condition. The Mexican foreign minister said U.S. and Mexican officials will soon meet with representatives of Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, and other countries in Washington to discuss immigration and border security. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.